Okay, um, here's a tutorial on how to create this kind of layout. As you notice, the texts are really wrapped around the dog image. And uh, yeah, so first, what, what we're gonna do is we're going to start from scratch. So what what do we have? We have we only have a picture of the of the dog. So I'm just gonna delete this one, delete this one, and delete all of these two. Okay, so I'm going to center the dog there. Okay, I'll just make it smaller a bit so we can wrap around the text. Then I'll type in dog, dogs. Okay, I'll just make it larger. Okay, change the font size to make it Arial Black. And then I'll uh, break artistic text apart so that each letter will be separate. And I'll just exaggerate one. It's bigger and then overlap it a little bit okay so maybe I'll just make this bigger overlapping is nice so it's visually pleasing okay then the next thing I'm, do, I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, fill this with white okay so I can't see it so I'll make a temporary rect rectangle okay and I'll send this to back so that I can see what's happening to my text Okay, so the first one, I'll put a transparency fill, and I'll put it uniform, same as the second one, which is the O, G, and S. Okay, that's great. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make each color different. Okay, let's make that green, this one will be yellow, and then red. And this one can be orange and I'll just delete the background which is the blue one okay so if I want to change uh, the colors I would just go go here okay same so happy with that one so that's fine and I'll bring this up here okay, okay. now here what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna enlarge it here first. Is I'm going to create uh, a box, okay, uh, with my with this bezier tool, because I'm gonna make an object so that the text will wrap around it. Okay, so put this way, and I'm gonna start the column here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to trace all around the dog image, because that's my container. So the paragraph will wrap around this object okay so I'll stop there and let's say I'm going that way and then I'm gonna close it okay and then I can edit it later if I want to be really exact uh, okay so I think I'm okay okay now I went to the internet and cut some text so there's something in the clipboard right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the object and go to my text tool and I'm going to go inside the container and if you see that a B that means to say that's the text inside the container so I click that and I can set my font size say I'll set it to 14 and I'll just go control V or paste I'll just make a paragraph in here right there okay so once that's done if you notice it wraps around the uh, the the object or the photograph uh, this one I'll just remove the hard return there so we can see really the difference okay and then the next thing you're gonna do is if we're going to remove the outline because as you can see if it have four okay, we, we got the outline of the text so click on the object okay, and then remove the outline go to your outline tool and click on no outline there okay so then you can do it with the other side too so again you can make an object okay object here okay I'm making a second column Okay, that's my object. Okay. 
and fix some things here. We we'll fix this one. Oh, this maybe is higher. Okay, and then since I have, I have, uh, I have text in my clipboard. I select the container first, and then I say Control V, Enter, Control V, Control V. Okay, and then I go to my outline tool and click on X for no outline. There you go. Then I can make a border there. Okay, there's another neat option. It's if I make a line, okay, and say I'll make it red, and I'll remove the outline, and I go to my transparency tool. I'll make a linear transparency. There. Just kind of neat. She can have a gradating. And then I, what I can do is I can duplicate it, click on the plus sign, then move this over to this side, and then group it, control G, and center it. There you go. That's all. I can also center this thing here. So that ends my tutorial.